Ooh, what's going on people, it's Shimano YB, back once again. So, we got another leak right now, regarding John Fury's assault of some 15-year-old Ute right now. Tyson Fury reacts, and as always, as you can imagine, he the corny is doing Listen, the apple don't fall far from the tree, people. We've seen Shane Fury, with his big soft hair looking out, soft belly looking out as well, doing way too much. Yeah, way too much he was doing. And Tyson unfortunately doing the same thing. Bottom line, he's shilling, sucking his dad off for for this this fugazi behaviour. Do you know what I'm saying? That John Fury is that guy who you look at and say, "Where are they doing that?" At? Yeah, your dad's sitting there talking about he want to bum a dude. John, we understand you're institutionalised. Yeah, we understand you come from the pen and you've been doing God. Oh, sorry, I'm I'm not saying necessarily John Fury was. What's the word? He was... Oh, he was certainly participating in some questionable things in jail, allegedly. No, did he? Yeah, I'm not saying he was consenting, though. All we know is he was there and he was participating. Prison is a treacherous place for people like John. And it's not his fault. He, again, he institutionalised. He's an institutionalised prison sister. Yeah, that's why he talk about bumming little dudes. That's why he talking about... Or well, he gets his ass out and smacks it. He used to, he's steady doing that in jail, I've heard allegedly. No did he? Yeah? John Fury's steady getting his backside out in the, in the pen. Yeah, big bubble looking ass. That's what them man want. Them man like it's two it's two it's two type of um zesties, yeah. Some zesties like the the big big bird looking dudes. The ones that almost uh kind of reminisce of a female. Other dudes, they like the little ones, the ones with the tight backside and whatever else, but each to their own. John was the big bird one. Hey. Cushion for the pushing one. That, that was John Fury's role in jail. Yeah, he was like a homely comfort for certain zesty man. <laughs> With his big balloon ass. He get his <laughs> Listen, John Fury get his big balloon ass out in the pen and he'd put on for the team. That's what I've heard. That's what John Fury was doing in jail. Not my words, not my evidence. John I didn't get I didn't tell John to get his big ass out. Who do who do that? What sixty year old hetero man get their backside out? Full stop. Never mind in front of a group of dudes. Yeah, there was no females there. There's a bag of man. Who does that? John steady doing that in the pen. So again, John, he institutionalized. When you've been in the pen doing a madness for 10 years, yeah. When you've been put, listen, when you've been in the pen for te putting on for the team for 10 years, for 10 years, John was holding it down for the zesty man them in the pen. That's what I've heard. Yeah, he stay, make sure their man get theirs. Anyway. I'm not even sure how I got onto them, onto them lyrics here, but either way, Tyson Fury reacts. And like I said, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Let's get to the bars, 100%. Old man. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. He's brilliant. Talk me through yesterday. I've seen you come outside. So they've told me you're doing an interview. Yeah. You're like, what's going on? What's this commotion? Wait a minute. Did I just hear Charlie Parsons talk about, oh, your old man, I love it. Wait a minute. Let me check this. And this is what I told you, man, yeah. I can't deal with these industry cats. I just can't do it, man. I just want to suck dude off. Like, this is mad. It's proper icking me out. I ain't going to lie to you. It's, it's killed my day off, it's us. Hearing that, I hope I'm wrong. I hope Charlie Parsons didn't just say, in reaction to the head, but, oh, I love being around your old man. <laughs> Charlie, just say you want to suck the dude off. Just do that. Yeah, Charlie, put a video out. Get John Fury on the, in, in, the, in the thing and say, John, can I blow you on camera? Just do that. At least we're all clear then. Right, we will get it. Oh, he want to suck him. That's why he acting that way. Yeah? Don't be doing all this, though. Do you know what I'm saying? Your old man. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. He's brilliant. Talk me through yesterday. I've seen you come outside. So they've told me you're... I love him. He's brilliant. And people, this cat here is why we are where we are today in society. Yeah? I'm not even... Listen, if you say you love Tyson Fury... I, I might even agree. I love Tyson Fury in the ring. When Ty, when Ty, once Tyson Fury is in the ring, I like it. Yeah? Solid. What is solid to love about John Fury? Full stop, really, to be quite frank. Well, what is there? Tell me one thing you like about him. Apart from the fact he talk. His bars ain't that good. They're all bullshit anyway. He just talk too much. Talk for the sake of talking. He ain't doing nothing. Yeah? 
you're doing an interview. Yeah. You're like, what's going on? What's this commotion? And they're saying, no, 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 carry on. You come outside. Your old man's gone and given it the old nugget. Talk me through it. What's, what's going on? Listen, I wasn't now. I was doing interviews yeah. all day. Again, like, did you hear Charlie Parsons? Oh my God, you're my old man. Give him the old nutter. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. Oh my God. But it takes that, that, that's the cut type of individual people. That's what it takes. Yeah? You have to be that kind of cat. Running in there trying to be, you have to be like, you can't not, you can't come on there and say, hey John, I think you've been institutionalised. That's what I'd tell you. i said, John, you're acting like a man who's been institutionalised. Not, I didn't make you get your ass out. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah? If a man go to, call me a lie. If a man go to jail and come out, Getting his backside out and slapping it, whatever conclusion can you come to? Oh, you're a prison sister. They turned you into a prison sister. I feel bad for John. That's a horrible way for a man to go out. A self-respecting Christian man to come out of jail when he's getting his backside out. I'm like, oh, oh no, they got him. Oh, they got him. <laughs> oh, he a sister now. <laughs> oh my God. So I didn't get to see it all, but I just saw what everybody else saw. I saw some idiot chatting shit and he got banged. End of. What a way to sell the uh, fight. What a way to sell, you know. This is show business. We're not here when it's not political. I'm no, sorry, but again, I have to focus more on Charlie here. What a spectacle. What a way to sell the fight. He's, he actually, I, I don't know what to say, man. Charlie's probably an alright guy. Zesty. On the down low, no doubt. But still, he's probably alright. But Again, it, it, it's about... You have to be this way inclined. 99% of individuals, you have to be this way inclined. You have to want to spend your days sucking dudes off to get to the top in this game. That's a fact. Because no one ain't going to want, they don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, these men like being blown off by other dudes. Yeah, that's what they like to hear. More of the same. They don't want to hear the truth. I tell John, hey John, if the world was just here, like John Fury claims it should be, I'd have to tell John, John, can you explain why a 60 year old man needs to get his backside out and slap it whilst at the his son's press conference? Explain that to me. Yeah, Is it because you was institutionalized into becoming a prison sister? I'll be having deep conversations like that. T John, tell me about your time in jail and how it, how it led to today's events. Yeah, those are the kind of angles I'll be coming from because it's not, we know people. Yeah, same as, oh, KSI, I'll bomb you, I'll bomb you. I'll bomb you. I'll bomb you. Okay. He's fiending for that. Yeah, and I believe his headbutt is a expression of how he want. He wanted to go back there. Yeah. He loved Saudi Arabia, but he loved more so the idea of being around a whole bunch of men some more. He wanted to be in a Saudi jail is where he really want to be, based on the evidence. He want to go back. He's he tired of living out here on the streets right now. He need to go back to jail. That's where he feel comfortable. Yeah, he meant something in there. His big old moon butt meant something in jail. He was someone there. He was big sugar mama. Do you understand? That's what he was in jail to the mandem there, to the, to the zesty mandem who he was holding it down for. Yeah. Um. All uh, room of um, educated men. These are fighters, fighters teams, fighters things. What a way to sell the fight. My dad's an excellent salesman and he's done a fantastic job. So big up John Fury. Good up, son. Big up, John Fury. And in the world. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Like Tyson, that's your dad. And even then, like I said the other day, if it was my dad, yeah. I mean, there's an, people say things like, oh, you should, parents and children or family shouldn't be all in the video, in the media. Um, but I'm trying to think realistically. Okay, my dad cracked someone. I guess on fight weeks you've got to stay cohesive. But again, the apple don't fall far from the tree. So it wouldn't go down like that. Yeah? Essentially. No one else's dad's going to do that though, are they? Who, name me an example. Whose dad has ever nutted someone at a press conference? This is extremely rare. One in a billion. Yeah? So it really only could be Tyson Fury who stands up there and has to explain this. And he's, he's explaining it as, oh, it's, we're fighting men. Tyson, your dad is not a fighting man. He's not. Yeah, he's a wannabe. 
He has John Fury had a few play, play, play. John, has John Fury been in the ring? Yes. But that's all it's done 30 years ago. Has John Fury been in the ring 30 years ago? Yes. Nothing else though. Everyone, I'm not saying myself, but everyone who, I mean, all due respect, yeah, anyone can get in a ring and get knocked spark out. You know what I'm saying? Like, who can't do that? Yeah? He's not a fighting man, though. Because a fighting man doesn't need to, number one, lie about his accolades. Oh, I've won it. I've had a whole lot of bare knuckle fights. John has never had one bare knuckle fight. Fact. If he did, it'd be everywhere over the internet. Like all the other old school, we've all seen bare knuckle fights, but we've never seen one of John. You can see bare knuckle VHS tapes from 1980. So where's John's? 45 years of VHS footage and we ain't seen one of John. It didn't happen. It did not happen even once, people. He's never had a bare knuckle fight. Yeah, and he hasn't had a real fight for 40 years. It's a fact. If he's 60 year old, he ain't had a fight since he was 25. In his last fight, when he got knocked out by whoever it was, Ross Garber or the um, Black Skellington, Team Lighty, he ain't been seen since. He was put into retirement. In, yeah, 100%. Sent into retirement by one of them two men. That's, that's how John Fury's story ended, as far as fighting went. He ain't done nothing since. Yeah, so stop talking about he a fighting man. A fighting man wouldn't have it put on him by Mickey Fio and shat it. Yeah, a fighting man wouldn't have it put on him by Joe Egan and shat it. So stop lying. He ain't like that. Yeah, I know it's your dad and whatnot, but come on now. Let's not tell lies here. Your, your dad is a predator. And I can't blame John. We've already talked today about how John was victimised in jail. And that's what happens. When you've spent your 10 years being victimised by the zesty mandem in jail, you come out and... You have all this aggression. It creates this pseudo-masculinity within you. you know, when a man gets violated, there's two ways you can go. If a man gets violated in the pen, yeah, you can come out and you can double down. And then you come out with a pink hair and you just go on a madness, acting like a female. You kind of, um, you adopt that new gender role that's been assigned to you by the Bezesti Mandem in the pen. The other way you can go is really insecure. Yeah, everyone around you is a threat because you know when the man them or you knew you spent so long in that state of fear and panic or everyone is an assailant to you everyone oh this guy might want to victimize me too let me let me lash out first it's like a small dog syndrome and that's john here yeah john wasn't sure hey this little dude might 100 percent so i feel i feel bad for john he'd been through it he'd been through it you best believe it his booty been through it too no did he you understand? He's an insecure man. And it will do that. Ten years in the pen being victimised by the zesty man them will make you insecure. And that's what John is. Because John don't... That's the thing. John don't want to run it with no big man. Because that, that, that create... That, oh, sorry. That, that kind of unleashes too much, too much trauma. He knows what the big man are fixing to do. He can't do that. Yeah? That's what he can't do. Oh, them big bulls in the pen. Bubba. 100%. So John picks out the little ones because he knows that oh, at least it won't, at least whatever happens, it won't be my ass. 100%. Whatever happens, it won't end up being my ass. Do you understand? So, but listen, if John's got psychological issues, he needs to work it out in therapy. Yeah? This ain't the time to be doing it. I don't listen. I wouldn't wish what John Fury went through in the pen on no, on no man. But it happened. So you have to then deal with that. John, I mean, John wouldn't have wished it on himself. Who would wish for that? Who would wish to go to the pen and the zesty man them treat you like a big bubbly female? I wouldn't want that. Yeah? But it happened. So he has to deal with that now. It's no good. John, yeah? Rather than working through your reality of what happened to you, you somehow think you're making a false equivalency. Oh, well, if I violate this small man, then that makes me more than a man. That makes me more of a man now. Yeah, just, oh, just because I lost my manhood 10 years ago by the Zesty Mandem, just because the Zesty Mandem took my manhood in the pen for 10 years, now I'm out here violating small dudes, it makes me a man still. See, that? See what I'm trying to say? That's what John, that's the state John Fury is stuck in. Yeah, he's stuck in trying to prove a point. No, I wasn't a prison sister. No, 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 that wasn't me. Look, I know the little dude, I'm, I'm hard. I'm still a man. See that one there? 
yeah? But in regards to Tyson Fury, chat shit get banged. It's bars like this that, again, it's not going to change my prediction on the fight. I still back Fury to win. But if Usyk was to win, I'd be more than happy, if that makes sense. Spiritually, emotionally, respectfully, I'm backing Usyk. As a person, as a team, I'd rather Usyk wins. However, that doesn't change the fact that Fury is 40 pounds bigger and I think as skillful. So, you know what I mean? There's no amount of respect that's going to enable Usyk to win this fight. Um, but there's no like... For example, I've seen Tyson Fury say before, when Tyson Fury was questioned about El Kinahan, he said, no comment, move on. Yeah, that's the kind of response I would like to have seen from Fury. I'm not expecting Fury to jump on here and slag his dad off. But no comment, I'm not speaking about that and move on. Instead, he's jumped on the bandwagon. I guess it's fight week. He's on the bandwagon and he's, but still, it was despicable. Because you bet he bet on dollar. If it was John Fury who got head-butted, Turkey Shake, Salomon Prince, Salomon Shake, yeah, would have had dude in 100%. Would have had dude in, in the docks, mate. Do you understand? For 10, 20 years. That's what would have happened, I swear to God, people. If some random dude from Music's team had a nutted John Fury, he'd be in jail right now. Yeah, Turkey be all in the video saying we are Saudi and we don't have this kind of behaviour. How despicable! John Fury's a sixty-year-old man. It was a deep, it was a deep assault and it was disrespectful to our culture. We're not having this. I believe it. I'm serious, I do. That's what happened. They'd step in and he'd be gone, and and John Fury would play the victim again. Oh, we've seen John Fury play the victim before, people. When Mickey Fear was putting it all over John Fury, John Fury put a video out. I had an interview. Oh, I'm leaving society now. Yeah, it's horrible society. I can't believe people are oh, people are calling for me, a 60-year-old man, to fight another man. It's just sick where the world's gone. That's what he said. Oh, it's sickening to me, the world today. I can't believe people, all they want to do is talk to me about fighting another man. Like, have we not moved on? It's barbaric. These kind of bars. I'm moving out to the sticks now in my caravan and I'm just going to eat wild rabbit because I'm sick of society. Two twos. A few years later, John Fury's nutting a dude for shouting the name Usyk. It wasn't even offensive. He was just saying Usyk. Like, what the fuck? Legitimately, the least offensive thing someone can do is chant their team's name. The most basic. You can't do any less than that. How could you? How could a Usyk fan support their man less than just shouting his name? There's no disrespect to Tyson. Tyson isn't even mentioned. If I want to shout Usyk all day, that's my right to do that. Now, if, if he was, if the Usyk fan was out there kind of proper going in and slagging Tyson off, you can kind of get it to some extent. But it wasn't that. And I just hope, I said the other day, I would have loved the Ukrainian cat to have the heater with him. Yeah? Because this whole thing of chat shit get banged. Number one, your dad was leaking, so no one actually got banged. The, the kid didn't move his... The kid was 10 pounds, 10 stones soaking wet, yeah, and didn't even move backwards. His head didn't even move, swear to God. His head went like that. Swear, swear, it was almost... Like, unbe almost unbelievable. Even though we know John Fury is not structurally sound for fighting, yeah, I still would... If you'd have told me three days ago, AYB, John Fury's going to nut a 10 stone 15-year-old and... Well, what's your expectation? I'd say, yeah, well, John Fury's a big guy, so I expect him to stumble backwards and, like, react in some way. The dude went like this, literally. No foot, didn't stumble, didn't, like, oh, oh my God, this dude got no power. He's got no explosivity at all. His neck muscles ain't even explosive. Nothing about John Fury is explosive. But this whole narrative of chat shit get banged, it's times like this year, I would have loved some sort of uh, some sort of Anuaki justice. Yeah? Chat shit get banged. Oops. Chat shit get banged. And then the Ukrainian Donnie pulled a heater out and lets one off. Oops. Now John Fury, he expired. Yeah, I'd love to see that in the title. Chat shit tried to bang man and got lit up with a heater. They'd be like, oh, he was a, he was a great grandfather. I can't believe it. It's despicable. We've come here to have a boxing match. You see what I'm trying to say here? Yeah? It's all fun and games, it's all chat shit get banged until your dad's expired on the floor. Yeah? 
with the lead fizzling out of him. Now people can say, oh, why be that as extreme, you know, don't take it there. Well, why not? You know, why did John Fury decide, why is it okay for a man to get, to be shouting, supporting his man? Not even, he's not, he wasn't shouting abuse. Why, why is it okay for a man to be supporting his guy and be assaulted? Why is that acceptable? The same way you could argue, well, why be, why is it acceptable for a man to be assaulted and let the heater off? I'd argue that's even, I'd, I'd argue that's more acceptable. Yeah? In fact, in a court of law, if someone cracks you on the nose and you light their ass up, that dude who's 10 stone as well, that dude in court here could say, listen, I'm 10 stone, he's 20 stone, I knew he was a criminal, he's, a, he's in a criminal who's been in jail for GBH, and I was in fear for my life. I reckon he'd probably get off with that. No, no charge, no case to answer in certain states in America. If that Ukrainian cat had lit John Fury up with a heater, I, I think he'd get away with it based on that, so why not? Yeah, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, and this should this should have been one of them. That should have been the talk. Oh my God, John Fury got smoked on. Yeah, because he did. He, this kind of individual knows no bounds. There's certain individuals, yeah. The only thing they will respect is that kind of situation, and you best believe it. You and sometimes you need this. You need that kind of situation to arise. Why? Because it humbles. The whole gen, all the generations. Then they'll all be thinking, "Hey, I better not act. I better not." It keeps everyone tight. They start thinking, "Oh damn, you remember what happened to great granddaddy?" Yeah, he he talked too much. Yeah, and his ass got expired. He expired somewhere. <laughs> it sends generational remembrance of don't be like that. Don't be that guy, because granddaddy he talked way too much, and he ended up getting lit up with a Ukrainian heater. Do you understand? Anyway. Let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell, 100%, no doubt about it.